Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another walk around tour. We'll check out this town here in the province of A Coruña in the north of Spain. Uh, not far away from the capital city, A Coruña. This place here is called Oburgo, O-B-U-R-G-O. And uh, here, as you guys just saw, we have an estuary or a river or a ria, which is what they're called in this part of the world. Now we're going to go for a walk and uh, have a look at the town, so let's turn the camera around. First stop is uh, an, an old bridge, and there's lots of old bridges around here. So let's have a look. Now we've got uh, Seagull over here, who's trying to get away from me. Obviously a bit camera shy, doesn't want to be on camera. And let's go and walk around this small town here, which as I said is not far from the capital city, A Coruña, in the northwest of Spain. Very busy area, I will say. Saturday morning, lots of people out and about, riding their bikes, walking, driving, enjoying this fantastic weather, which as you can see, it is a magnificent day. Let's cross over here. Priority have pedestrians. And there's an example of people out and about today now, we'll just have a look at this old bridge. And this is one of the things to see in this town. Let's have a look at the side of the bridge. Yeah, so I'm not really sure about the information about this bridge, but it looks old. Let's have a look if we can get some information. Not sure. I'm not gonna cross over, but we've got a new bridge over here where the traffic goes over. And the old bridge here. Over there we've got, uh, looks like to be the new part of town, new buildings and people with views of this river or estuary or whatever you want to call it here. The ocean is not far away, the Atlantic Ocean and that is where this water comes from. So let's turn around. Now we're going to see what this little town has to offer. Let's keep on going. Now I said before that the traffic is quite intense. Let's go for a walk and see. We'll see if we can get some information about where I am exactly over here. Let's see what it says over here. And if it's in English. Camino Inglés. So I imagine that this is on the Santiago de Compostela route. El Puente del Burgo, the Bridge of Burgo. The strategic value of the bridge in 1809 is the only way to cross the estuary, made it the object of the last mission of Sir John Moore's reserve troops. Once all the British divisions had crossed on the 11th of January 1809, General Edward Paget gave his engineers orders to blow up the bridge. So there we go. And uh, celebrating here in 2009, 200 year anniversary of the battle that took place here interesting so there's always a story somewhere to be found here in spain always a story now here's a little bit of history about this bridge here so we can see here that it goes back to the independence war or the war of independence back in the day and there we can see the camino de santiago sign now let's work our way into the old part of town let's work our way Let's see what's going on. Car after car after car after car. People that are no doubt coming from Coruña City. Round about Chocker Block. I don't know whether people are going to the beach or whether they're going out for lunch. I don't know. But as I said before, taking advantage of the magnificent weather, which is unusual for this time of year. There's the name of the town, Oburgo. And I think that's the church. We'll have a look at this from this side of the road. Restaurants. I would not eat there in a kebab restaurant unless I'd had a few pints. I would prefer this one here, the Maison Athepa. I reckon here you'd get a decent meal. 
Now I want to find a restaurant as well to check out what the local cuisine is like. Whether there's a lot of seafood or meat in this part of Spain. Now, let's have a look at the church. I'm going to cross over. We've got some information about the church, so let's check it out. And see if I can cross over here at this crosswalk. Car stop, thank you very much. Camino Inglés. So it's one of the ways to get to Santiago, the English way. There we go, the church. Another spectacular building in this part of the country. Santiago de Oburgo. Not big, but obviously serving the population that we've got here. Now I'm going to go for a walk up the main street. There's people going into church, obviously, for a service or something. Let's keep on going. So, the northwest of Spain, one of my favorite parts of Spain. I come here every opportunity that I get. In fact, in the last four or five years, I've been to Galicia three times, maybe four. And most recently, I was in the southern Galician province of Pontevedra. I went to Pontevedra city and Vigo city, and this is in the north. Of course, four provinces in Galicia. You've got Coruña, Lugo, Orense, and Pontevedra. And this is the most northwest, I would say, Coruña province. Abandoned building number one, or abandoned house number one. Windows broken. So obviously people lived here back in the day and now empty for sale and whatever was here next door has also gone. So some prime real estate here. Let's keep on going down the main strip. Chinese business everywhere throughout Spain. Chinese have set up these businesses. Espacio Oriental, Oriental Space, and you can buy everything that you need in those shops, but not sure about the quality. A couple of restaurants here, but they seem to be closed. Oh, this is a Pension Restaurante, Casa Julio, doesn't seem to be open. And the architecture in this part of Coruña. Got the old architecture and the more modern architecture. Let's have a look at this building over here. What is it? it seems to be a postal building. Let's get a bit closer and see. Not sure what's going on here, but it belongs to the town hall. Let's have a look here. This is the business association. Asociación de Empresarios de Culleredo. Also with a post office attached. So, an interesting building here. Let's have a look around. Casa Julio Hospedaje Comidas. Let's continue. Got some signs up here which will tell us how to get to the airport. Also to Santiago de Compostela, also to A Coruña. All right, here we have some food. Let's see what we've got here. Desayuno. It's not interested in breakfast. I want a lunch menu if I can find one. So I'm curious to see what you pay here for a menu at the weekend. And also curious to see what's on the menu, what some of the local 
cuisine is here because this is one of the better parts of Spain to to dine Galicia known for its food you'll find Galician restaurants all over the country that have the uh, specialties from this part of the world and if you ask a lot of Spaniards they'll tell you that Galician or Asturian food are among their favorites furry friend let's keep on walking coffee shop people having a late breakfast and we've got Doña Maruja who specializes in tortillas and I will say that the tortillas that I've had so far the omelets the Spanish omelets that I've had in Galicia so far I've had two pinchos fantastic because the quality of the produce here great potatoes great eggs put those two ingredients together and you've got yourself a tortilla española now this is a very modern part of the town in fact everything seems quite modern all of the buildings seem quite modern See the type of businesses that we've got, pizza, pasta, over here. Now I can't see an old part, it's a fairly big town I will say. Some people out and about. Let's go down here and see what we can find. Now I'm going to cross over here and work my way into the center of this town check out what life is like people on terraces there enjoying a drink because it's that time of the day it's time for a cold beer a cold Estrella Galicia one of my favorite beers as you guys know supermarket here Freud, you don't see that supermarket in other parts of Spain, or at least where I live, you don't really see them. I've only seen them in Galicia. Freud's. Now, as we saw, this is on the English way, that Camino de Santiago. So I imagine that pilgrims are passing through here all the time, especially in the summer months. What I can't really see is anything too historical. We must be close to the airport because that plane was low. Buildings, nice buildings, nice architecture. They seem fairly well built, I will say that good quality constructions at least those ones over there seem to be let's continue down this way see if we can find anything of historical value I might be in the wrong part of town I don't know mmm food smells great there must be a restaurant close by because the smell is wafting up to where I am here and as I said a minute ago this is one of my favorite parts of the country to sit down and enjoy a meal Galicia in general all right let's go down here everything very green of course this weather is not normal which is what I just mentioned now I've managed to find a restaurant zone we've got uh, Wok Wang over there I don't know whether they serve Wang or not but uh, Wok Wang enter at your own risk so there's some restaurants over here let's go and check out and see if we can see a a price at all this could be mr wang it could be not sure let's see if we can get a sign outside that shows us the price of a meal is there anything here let's have a look el potro no, can't see a menu or their leer. Plenty of restaurants, so I'm going to cross over. 
Can't see anything there. Let's go over here and see. So really, not a lot to see in this town. I'll give you the tip. Very close to the airport, close to the bigger city, Coruña. So I imagine that's the issue here, that people live in this town, work in the bigger city. I imagine that's what's going on. A lot of people around all the time, a lot of people walking, enjoying the weather. But apart from that, not a huge amount to see. So a little bit disappointed, but it's all part of the game. So yeah, we saw the Romantic Bridge and also the Paseo Maritimo, the walk along that uh, ria. So that was about the most interesting thing here. So if you know this area here and there are more things to see, hit me up in the comment section and let me know because I haven't been able to find much. Look at this building here. That looks like a brand new construction and there's something else going up over here as well, which I imagine is going to be similar. Don't know. Hamoneria. So a place that serves ham. Let's cross over and check out what they've got on that menu board. The traffic here is non-stop. Let's go see what's going on here as far as food is concerned. El Roble. Anything interesting there? Not really. Then we've got a bit of road rage going on. And here we have a historical monument. That I walked past before and I didn't even see it. Let's have a look. Just some type of fountain. And also something here that also has historical value. But apart from that, not a lot going on. Press the button because traffic, as you can see, incessant. So there you go, a quick walk around of Burgo here in A Coruña in the northwest of Spain. Not the most interesting place I've seen, except for the uh, Ria or that uh, waterway down there. That's about it. A church, not really much to see. A few restaurants, but uh, I can't get an idea of what price is like. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next walk around video. Adios, hasta luego, from Oburgo.